Hey everyone, I'm Jimmy and this is Phil. And welcome to Spooky Appalachia. Today we are at the John Henry Historical Park, uh, the site of the Great Bend Tunnel. Uh, so come on and explore it with us. Behind us you'll see the statue of John Henry, the steel driving man. Uh, we are feet away from where he had his famous contest against the steel drill where he uh, beat it driving a steel spike 14 feet into the ground uh, and saving the jobs according to legend of many of the workers here. Over here you can see the Big Ben Tunnel which uh, was built in 1932 as a complement to the Great Ben Tunnel and behind us as we're walking towards it is the Great Ben Tunnel built in 1870 and allegedly at the cost of quite a few lives. Uh, we'll talk a little bit in the video about the potential hauntings and uh, the experiences people have had here. Construction on the Great Bend Tunnel began in 1870 and the first train passed through in 1873. The type of rock that forms the mountain becomes fragile when exposed to air, and rock files are therefore common. Over 1,000 workers are estimated to have died either during the tunnel's construction or from health complications that developed from the dust they inhaled while working uh, rock files on passing trains have also occurred, including at least one which killed all members of the train crew. Railroad employees passing through the tunnel frequently reported seeing human-like shadows in front of their trains. Perhaps the most famous death at Great Bend Tunnel was that of American folk hero John Henry, the steel driving man. Henry was a former slave who came to the project near its beginning. He was the camp's steel driving champion, and by all reports, a good natured and well liked co worker. In 1870, a salesman approached the foreman trying to sell him a steam drill. The foreman, desperate to complete the project on schedule, was interested, but the workers worried that the steam drill would put them out of work. John Henry made a deal with the foreman. If he could beat the steam drill in a steel driving contest, the foreman would decline the purchase. Stories differ on how long the contest lasted, from 30 minutes to a full day. But at the end of it, John Henry had driven the steel spike 14 feet into the ground, 5 feet farther than the steam drill's 9 feet. Legend has it that he died of exhaustion after the contest, but the foreman kept his word and continued to employ human steel drivers. People have reported hearing his hammer to this day, still driving steel at the site of his greatest triumph. This includes a local man paid to line the tunnel with brick, who claimed to see Henry's apparition as he was working. Regardless of whether he still haunts the tunnel, Henry's story became an inspiration for both newly freed slaves 
and working class people whose livelihoods were threatened by rapid industrialization, and his legend has grown over the years into one of the most popular American folk stories. We have our own addition to the canon of ghost stories and folklore at the Great Bend Tunnel. While our drone was in the tunnel shooting this video, it rapidly accelerated and crashed into the wall of the tunnel. Was it an angry spirit? That seems far more likely than pilot error. We would never make a mistake like that. Yes. Yes. It was definitely an angry spirit. Also, if anyone from the Summers County Sheriff's Office happens to be watching, the ghost got the drone out of the water and brought it back to the entrance of the tunnel for us. Thank you all for joining us on our trip to the Great Bend Tunnel in John Henry Historical Park. Um, if you liked this video, be sure to uh, give it a like, drop a comment, and uh, if you haven't, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Right. Hey, Bobo. You want to go in the scary tunnel? You want to go in the scary tunnel? Would you do it for a spooky shot? Maybe. No, do we just want to go play in the puddle? Is that the problem? Do you want to play in the puddle? Well, what about the scary tunnel? Can we go investigate the scary tunnel? Oh, not even for a Scooby snack. Not even for a movie fan.